In this little video, we are gonna talk about how to make a scalloped edge that looks like this using DMC and your sewing machine. Um, first of all, you need to take whichever edge you're gonna apply the scallop to and press it really well. It needs to be pressed over 1 8 of an inch and then 1 8 of an inch again so that the um, ed that raw edge of your fabric is right there at the fold where your, um, where your hem is. Um, it needs to be this narrow so that as we sew this, we can hem it at the same time that we put the scallop on. Um, you can sew it either with the wrong side up or with the right side up. I like doing the right side up because it seems to make the scallop a little bit more pronounced on the top if you do it that way, but either way will work. You also need some DMC floss in the color that you want and you need two strands. I have taken this and I have knotted one end of it and the length that I have used is about four inches longer than the space I'm going to cover. You want to have a couple of inches at the beginning and a couple of inches at the end so that whatever you do with the end of this, whether it's a ruffle or a sleeve, that you have some length of that DMC that you can tuck into the seam. So go in and give yourself some wiggle room at the beginning and the end with that. I have also run it through some thread magic a couple times to get those strands to kind of stick together and hold together. As far as the machine, I like to use this number 10 foot. It's an edge stitch foot. I know other brands of machines will have a foot that's like this, but it has this little blade in the middle. We are going to use a blind hem stitch. Normally on my machine, when I use a blind hem or I do a blind hem, I would use this number five foot, which looks a whole lot like the number 10, but it doesn't work for this application. So this is the one you don't wanna do. Actually on the bottom of it, I don't know if you can see, it has a little, um, spot um, where the, the blade is kind of curved out, and that's the reason that it doesn't work for this because that curve pushes the DMC away from where you want it to be. So you've got to use the one that's the number 10 that actually is all the way straight on the bottom. Here's how I have the machine set up. I have the right side up, and I have the, fat, the folded edge right there at the center on the left side of the blade, and then I have two strands of DMC on the right side of the blade. I'm set up for a blind hem stitch, and it is mirrored. It's gonna do four straight stitches on the left, and then it is gonna do a zigzag over to the right, a wide zigzag, and it's, that's what's gonna catch that DMC, and then it's gonna come back and do four more straight stitches on the left. It is mirrored. Um, the way my machine is set now is a 5.5 on the width, a 1.6 on the length, and my tension is turned all the way up to 10. Your machine may be different. It might do things differently. Your fabric would also make a difference. So you need to practice this before you try it on your garment just to see what you like, to see what works for you. Um, but once you have everything set, you should just be able to stitch. And so all you do, and there's no rewards for going fast, I actually have my machine speed turned down a little bit where I won't be able to go too fast, but I just stitch and the machine does the work for me. And you have to stop every once in a while and get everything straightened up. If for some reason um, your machine doesn't totally clear the all of the strands of the DMC on the right, if it's something that's happening a lot, I would probably go in and take everything out and um, get that DMC really smoothed down with some thread magic again and try again. Um, go for the widest zigzag that you can get. If you still have a few strands that are wanting to poke out and not get caught in the zigzag part of it, you can always take a needle and thread and fix those little areas that aren't, um, aren't staying in place the way you like them. But hopefully you'll be able to get it um, going with a little bit of practice so that you get um, your scallop to look like that. And that is all.